Now you're good at finding trig ratios. You're good at finding missing angles using trig. Now let's look at some application problems. So first of all, in your notes, this picture printed horribly. So take a minute and sketch in the lines from this picture. If you need to hit pause on the video, you can. Um, this is just explaining, this picture is just explaining what an angle of depression is and what an angle of elevation is. So an angle of elevation is when you, like this dog, if you were to look straight at the tree, that's kind of the bottom of the angle. But he's actually looking up at the bird. So that angle formed between where he'd be looking if he looked straight and then if he looked up, that's the angle of elevation. And then kind of a similar thing with this bird up in the tree if this bird were to look straight and then shift its gaze to look down at the dog, then the angle that would be an angle of depression. Um, so one thing that is cool is that like in this scenario, the angle of depression and the angle of elevation are the same angle because they're alternate interior angles. So just something to keep in mind. So let's look at some story problems. Um, here's just some basic steps when you're solving a story, when you're solving a story problem. Drawing a diagram is going to be critical. Make sure you have a picture to go with every story problem you're dealing with. Um, label it with what you know, and then start looking for what you don't know by writing an equation and solving. So we've got a sledding run that's 400 yards long. So let's go ahead and draw that. Sledding runs, that means that you're going downhill on a sled. So there's my downhill. And it's 400 yards long. So if you were to get on that sled, you would go 400 yards. And the vertical drop is 40.2 yards. So if you were to kind of think about connecting where you started and then down to where you stopped, you had a vertical drop of 40.2 yards. And then what I want to find is the angle of depression. So angle of depression is at what angle is your sled going downhill. So it's going to be this angle on the top right. So if I'm finding that angle, I'm going to put my theta there. That kind of tells me that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to label my sides with the opposite adjacent hypotenuse. The 400 is the hypotenuse. The 40 is the opposite. And then this top dotted line is the adjacent. So since I know the opposite and the hypotenuse, I'm going to use the sine. So the sine of my angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So then in my calculator, I'm going to type in the inverse sine of 40.2 over 400. And let's see what I get. I get 5.8. Now remember, this is an angle, so it's 5.8 degrees. So the angle of depression of the sledding run is 5.8 degrees. Which is good. If you got a giant angle here, like 40 or something, that would probably be too steep of a hill for your sled to go down. All right, let's do another one. This next one is a classic ladder leaning on, a, on the wall of a building problem. So a ladder leans against the wall of a building. The foot or the base of the ladder is 7.2 feet from the base of the wall. So let's go ahead and draw that. So I've got some building... Mine's going to be a house, and then I have a ladder leaning against it, okay? You can kind of think about the ground extending over here, too. The foot or base of the ladder is 7.2 feet from the base of the wall. So that means that the base of the wall, the base of the ladder, that distance is 7.2 feet. The top of the ladder rests on the wall at a point that is 15.4 feet above the ground, so the height on the wall is 15.4 feet. The first thing I want to know is how long is the ladder? So the ladder is my diagonal piece right here. That's my x value. So here I'm just solving for a missing side length. I know two sides of my triangle. I want to know the third. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. 15.4 squared plus 7.2 squared is equal to x squared. 15.4 squared is 237.16, 7.2 squared is 51.84, add those together, I get 289, 
So 289 is equal to x squared. I'm going to take the square root of 289. I get 17. So that ladder is 17 feet long. Okay, so now I know how long the ladder is. Now I want to know what is the angle of elevation of the ladder. So I'm going to zoom in on my picture really fast so we can talk about the angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation is going to be always from like the ground or the eyesight looking up. So we're looking at, oh, whoops, I did not want to erase there. We are looking at this angle on the bottom right. That's my theta. So I'm going to label my sides opposite. Sorry, this is not a great picture. Adjacent and hypotenuse. I have the opposite and the adjacent, so I'm going to use the tangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So then the inverse tangent of the opposite over the adjacent is going to be my angle of elevation. And that is 64.9 degrees. So 64.9 degrees is the angle of elevation of the ladder. Okay. So now with this, you have enough to finish off your homework. This is going to be numbers 19 through 23. So go ahead, finish those up, and then rip out your assignment, staple it, and turn it in. If you haven't finished it, finish it at home and bring it next time.